What's clear is that the, the, you get the biggest bang for buck by actually having the government do something. The government goes out there and, and builds a second rail tunnel under the Hudson River, which is my, my uh, if we don't get that, then I'm really depressed about the whole thing. Um, um, then you have directly employed a large number of people. You have directly bought the, the, the concrete and the, and the reinforcing iron. You've tr directly created demand. And, and so every dollar that shows up as a dollar of federal debt is actually going to create a dollar's worth of economic activity, and probably more, because then people will have more money and they'll spend more. And, and most of the estimates say that a, a dollar spent by the government, a, a dollar actually spent on, on infrastructure or some other form of government direct spending uh, generates at least $1.50 of, of GDP. So that's the thing that's most effective. And um, so the question is, why not have the whole package consist of infrastructure spending? And the answer um, is that uh, is mostly a question of timing. If you want to do something that's a completely out blue sky project, something that you weren't even thinking about before, it's going to take you years to figure it out, to draw up the plans, to get the permits, to, to actually begin the project. Big, big infrastructure, well, uh, I used to live in Boston, so the big dig, right, can well, go on forever. That was a big success. Uh, right, well, you know, uh, yeah. but no, but the main, leave aside the efficiency question, just mm -hmm. about the time it takes to get them going. So, um, now there's a lot, fair number of projects that have been, that are on the books, or they're, they're, they were going to start in two years or three years, and you can move up the timing. So this is the stuff that people call shovel ready. And that's clearly, you want to do every shovel-ready project that makes even a bit of sense right now. But there is a limited supply of those. So we, you can't have the whole stimulus consist of that. The second thing you can do is you can provide aid to state and local governments, which are, unlike the federal government, have to balance their budgets year by year. And they are actually slashing spending. And one very quick way to increase spending is to prevent it from being cut. So that's the second thing you can do. Third thing you can do is you can... And that aid is mostly in the form of what? Medicaid grants? And, um, it's uh, a bunch of things. It's complex. Medicaid, education, and so on. But a lot of it, what it really ends up doing is it means that, that state... Uh, spend money on other things. State governments that are in extreme cash crunch will not have to uh, uh, do it. I, I mean, the state of California is, I think, just put a... Terrible basically thing. put a hold on all construction projects right, right now. And that's crazy. And if you can give them a slug of cash, they can at least you know, fit, close some things in before the rain gets in, right? I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's that crazy. Um, so uh, you know, that's good stuff. Um, then you get into the realm of actually giving people money as opposed to purchasing goods and services. Um, and that's a little more questionable aside from, well, because it's not clear that they will spend that money. They might use it to put in their savings account to pay off credit card debt. Um, but to the extent you can target that on people who are in distress, the unemployed, people who are losing health insurance, uh, that's a pretty effective form of stimulus. Probably not as good as, as not as much bang for the buck as, as building bridges, but, but, uh, but, but uh, quicker. And then the last thing is cutting people's taxes. And that's, uh, that can be done fast, but there's a high likelihood that people won't spend the money. So aside the, from everything else. The first else, one would be rebates, is that what you're talking about? Well, no, it's more, you mean the tax cuts? Or no, the, you're saying getting money to people in distress. Well, no, the, the, uh, we are talking about extended, extended and expanded extended unemployment, unemployment benefits, benefits okay. more food stamps, right. uh, help for people to maintain COBRA payments on, on their. Real uh, actual instantaneous yeah. benefit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so all that stuff is good, uh, yeah. Um, so when I look at the, this um, stimulus plan, it, about two-thirds of it is clearly good stuff. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. Um, th basically, the two-thirds that's spending. One-third is tax cuts. Of that, half is the Obama making work pay thing, mm -hmm. which is uh, basically a you get uh, a tax credit against part of your payroll tax payments, uh, which is not one of my favorite policies, but since it was a campaign promise, I'm willing to let it go. Then the, the, the rest is, um, is business tax cuts, uh, which are all look like they're extremely ineffective. They all look like uh, things that will have no impact on investment spending. It's just, it's just money down the drain. Uh, 